Today I'm going to make for you uh, one of my favorite things to eat. It's very easy, it's quick, it's nutritious, it's delicious. Uh, it requires very few ingredients. And what I'm making today for you, it's not dosa, but it is a basin or chickpea flour, uh, chilla or puda. Uh, there's lots of different names for it, uh, but we call it uh, basin puda. And basically it's a batter made out of chickpea flour. And then you add some spices and some toppings and it's ready in less than 30 minutes. So come along and let's make this very healthy, nutritious uh, meal with me. To make the basin puda, you need two cups of basin. I have three tablespoons of suji or cream of wheat. I have one teaspoon of ajwine, half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of black salt, half a teaspoon of regular white salt, and half a cup of yogurt. Then for vegetables, I have about one fourth cut uh, onion chopped finely, about half a tomato chopped finely, and two green chili peppers. These three things are completely optional. These are just toppings that I like. You can put any toppings you want. You can put cheese if you like. You can put any kind of finely chopped vegetables. You can put some beans. Uh, you can put uh, uh, red pepper, green bell peppers, uh, red onions. Actually, I prefer red onions. I didn't have any, so I'm just using white. You can use uh, scallions or spring onions. So these three things are completely optional. They're just toppings that you would think of uh, what you would put in an omelet. So think about what you'd like in an omelet and those are the toppings you wanna use or you can just leave them out completely, that's fine too. What is not optional are the spices. Now the black salt is optional. If you don't have black salt, you can just use white salt uh, and then in that case, you will use about one teaspoon of white salt. Um, but other than that, basically to make a basin puda, all you need is basin, um, suji is optional. I like the little crunch it gives it, but you don't even need that. So suji, uh, uh, basin and even the yogurt is optional. So basically to make a ba basin puda, you need basin, water, and some spices. That's it. But the, this combination that I'm showing you today makes a very, very delicious uh, basin puda. So again, I have two cups of basin, three tablespoons of cream of wheat or semolina, a joint, this is definitely needed, turmeric, black salt, white salt, yogurt, a half a cup, and then my toppings. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is in my basin or chickpea flour, I'm going to add the semolina or suji or cream of wheat, lots of different names for the same thing. And then I'm going to add all my dry spices. Okay. I'm gonna take a minute to mix these and then I'll add the yogurt. Okay, one thing I did forget is one teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm gonna add that to my dry mixture. This is why you have to watch all my videos at least once all the way through because I always forget something. But don't worry, I remember it in time and then I still uh, let you know. So don't learn from my mistakes and then uh, that way you won't make any. All right, so this is incorporated nicely. Now I'm going to add my yogurt and one teaspoon of oil and then I'll add water as needed. Okay, so the only yogurt I had was Greek yogurt, which is really thick. So I added a little water to thin it, and now I'm going to go ahead and add the yogurt mixture to my flour mixture. So along with the yogurt mixture, I'm gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of oil. And then now I'm going to mix everything, and then uh, 
add some water to make sure the batter is of the right consistency. And I'll show you what that should look like. So right now I'm just blending the yogurt and the oil. And that was just one teaspoon of oil. So I've incorporated the yogurt. Now I'm going to add water a little bit at a time and then keep uh, whisking it so that there are no lumps. You want a very smooth batter. So just add a little bit of water at a time until you have a smooth batter. After adding half a cup of water, this is the consistency I have, which is still too thick. So I'm gonna add an additional um, half a cup of water, but a little bit at a time. So total, I've added a one cup of water. Um, not including the water, I used a little bit of water to thin out my yogurt. So if your yogurt is regular yogurt, you may not need that. But total right now I have one cup of water. I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes so that uh, the cream of wheat has a chance to open up fully and it might absorb a little bit more moisture. So we may have to add a little bit more water right before uh, we cook it. But that's it. I mean, literally all we did was just mix things and chop a few vegetables and you have this ready in under, well, the prep time was like five minutes and the whole cooking process will be under 30 minutes. So you can have this for breakfast, you can have this for dinner or a snack in between. It's full of protein, it's nutritious and it's delicious. So let's let it sit for about 10 minutes and then uh, we'll cook our uh, basin puda. Okay, it's been sitting for about 10 minutes and our batter has rested nicely. So now um, I want, I'm looking at it. I want like a, between a pancake and a crepe batter. So I don't want it as thick as a pancake, but I don't want it as, as thin as a crepe. So it right in between. So I think I'm gonna add a couple more tablespoons of water and then one um, teaspoon of oil. So to cook this, I'm today using my flat skillet. Uh, you can also use a nonstick pan. All I need is a flat surface that's wide enough to make like a pancake or a crepe. The size doesn't matter because if you have a small one, you can make a small one. If you have a, a large one, then you can make one large one. So the size definitely does not matter. Um, this is about a nine inch round uh, uh, skillet. Okay, so I'm gonna let it heat nicely. Definitely let it heat nicely. And then I'll show you how we are going to cook our uh, batter. To prep my skillet before I add the batter, I'm just adding a little bit of oil. And then taking a paper napkin, I'm just going to kind of spread this around. Okay, so now it's done and it's sufficiently hot. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil Not that much, just a little bit, just so it doesn't stick. And then I have switched from a spoon to a measuring cup, so I know how much to add. So this is a half cup measuring cup, and I'm going to go ahead and add this. And like I said, you can make this any size you want. So half a cup makes about this size, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, so I'm adding another quarter cup. And then I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to just spread it. Now with the basin, the chickpea flour, you wanna cook it thoroughly, so be patient and don't flip it until you see all this rawness gone and like bubbles will start forming on the surface. So you want to wait until then. When all of this is cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and add my toppings on top 
and then flip it over. You wanna cook both sides really well. So let's give it a minute. And again, I'm cooking this at medium low. Now to check for doneness, you can take a spatula and kind of lift a little and see. And you see how beautifully golden brown that is? That is just gorgeous. So we can put that back and all the the wetness on top is almost gone, so I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some toppings. So I'm going to add my onions, my chili peppers, and my tomatoes. And then I hope it flips nicely. So you want to try to flip it in one piece. If you can't, that's okay. It will still taste good, but if you can flip it. Now, if you don't have a really good nonstick skillet, you may have to put a little oil on the edges to kind of get it started. So mine, this one looks nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. And you see how beautiful that is? That's what you want. This is so delicious. And again, really easy to make. You can customize this any way you want. The main ingredient is just basin, uh, which is the chickpea flour, water, and then some spices. And there you have it, a delicious, nutritious meal any time of the day, especially really good with breakfast. So if you want, like, if you don't eat eggs and you won't want that omelet taste, the omelet look, that omelet toppings, make this, because this is a perfect substitute. So I'm going to give it a minute to cook on the other side, and then I'll show you um, how we plate it. Okay, I flipped it again. It smells so good in here. But here you can see that this side is cooked. And again, if you don't want to sprinkle the toppings and you want to go ahead and add it in the batter to make it easier, you can do that too. This is a very, very flexible meal. So I can see it's cooked nicely. It's very crispy. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fold this like this. You can eat it like this or you can even fold it in one third, make a little triangle. Okay. Which I am not able to do because this is too thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plate as is. Okay, let's make another one. So I'm gonna add my oil just a little bit, just to get it started. And then I'll add my batter. And again, I'm gonna start with half a cup. And again, if you only want a small one, stick with half a cup. But I'm going for another quarter cup, so three-fourths cup total. This is very filling, so probably you can eat maybe one, or if you're super hungry, two. So I would say one per person. Now, another good thing to add in this, just like an omelet, is some cheese. If you want cheese, if you want to stick with the Indian flavors, you can add some paneer, but any cheese will do. You can add some shredded mozzarella, um, any kind of cheese. Any kind of melty cheese or feta would be nice. Okay, so again, I'm gonna let this cook. I'll add my toppings. I want all the tomatoes. Those chilies are super spicy, so I'm not adding too much. But I do want some onions on the edges. Okay, and let's let it cook. And then we're done, seriously, done, half hour, including the 10 minute it had to sit through. So within half hour, you can have a nice, healthy, delicious breakfast or snack or any kind of meal or evening meal. Okay, my basin puda is ready to be flipped. I've just added a little bit of oil along the edges to uh, make it easier for us to flip. 
We look in the back and see if it is golden brown. You can see it's crispy nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. Again, I think I was too ambitious. Maybe I need to make it a little bit smaller. And if you like it a little bit thinner, like a crepe, you can just make, make the batter thin. And that's it. Once this is done, we are ready to eat. So the batter I just made, I still have quite a bit of batter left. So it makes, I think it will make a good uh, good size. You can see this thing covers the entire skillet, about five of them. So that's a lot. So that's perfect because you can make this and then just keep it in the refrigerator and then you can just heat it up in the microwave and eat it. Or if you have a few friends over or you're making for your family, then this recipe makes uh, enough uh, for everyone to eat. You can also make it smaller and have it like a pancake. But what do I want to eat this with? So today I'm eating this with this... Uh, lime pickle lately i've been obsessed with this sweet lime pickle it is delicious uh, but you can eat it with ketchup if you have any green chutney you can eat with that or imli chutney but i don't have any ketchup yes i run out of ingredients quite frequently and then i forget to go to the store so i need to get ketchup ketchup is delicious with this but today i'm gonna eat it with the lime pickle okay so my second one is ready and again, not easy to fold, but that's okay. If I turn it around, it will look prettier. Okay, let's plate this and give it a try. Okay, let's give this a try. And we can see how nice and crispy it is. We're going to first try it by itself. Mm. It tastes so good. We're gonna dip it a little bit in this. Delicious. Please make this, you will love it. Less than half hour, great meal to make, doesn't need any special equipments, very few ingredients. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, share it with others, and definitely make this uh, delicious uh, snack, meal, breakfast, any way you like it, uh, it's still delicious.